what is the meaning of cyclic quadrilateral? So when we talk about quadrilateral, of course there are how many sides? Four sides. But when we add cyclic in front, means that that all four sides are inside the circle. Okay, kesemua empat empat sisi tu mesti berada di dalam bulatan. To make it precisely, what is the meaning of quadrilateral? A cyclic quadrilateral, cyclic quadrilateral is here. Aku tengok. Where a quadrilateral in a circle where all four vertices, semua empat empat bucu of the quadrilateral, quadrilateral lie on the circumference. Kesemua empat 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 bucu tu mesti berada di atas lilitan bulatan. Okay, bermaksud semuanya mesti menyentuh pada lilitan bulatan lah. See? This one, if you see here, it touch circumference. Touches circumference. Okay, all four vertices touches the circumference. So, this is we call as cyclic quadrilateral. If we have the circle like this. Okay, also, although there are four sides, but this one are not cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, because one of the side are not in, are not lying in the circumference. On the circumference, okay. So, yang ni bukan cyclic quadrilateral. So, senang saja nak recognize cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, now, the first thing that you should know in cyclic quadrilateral is the angle of the opposite side are equal to 180. So, what I mean? Angle of A plus angle of B equal to 180. Angle of C plus angle of D equal equal to 180. So, all together, the angle of quadrilateral equal to 360. Okay, so that is the first thing that you should know. Okay, next. Okay, second thing right now, I add another angle which I name it as angle of E. So, if you still remember what we learned in form 1, the angle for A, B, C, D inside the quadrilateral we call as interior angle. What is interior angle? Sudut dah dalaman. Okay, angle of A... Angle of B, angle of C, and angle of D we call as interior angle. The angle for E we call as exterior, exterior angle. Exterior angle. So here, the first thing that you should remember from, you, you should understand from the previous uh, lesson in form 1, when the angle for B plus with the angle of E, what is the value? Angle of B plus angle of E? 180, because this is straight, straight line. Okay, here... Uh, what I want you to understand is If you see here Relationship between exterior angle With the corresponding opposite interior angle okay, Apakah kaitan di antara sudut peluaran Dengan sudut pedalaman yang setentang okay, Apa maksud dia kat sini okay, Now Exterior angle here we call as E Nampak? What is interior angle for E? B betul Ok Sekarang ni kita nak tengok adalah Sudut peluaran Sama dengan sudut pedalaman yang setentang Sudut peluaran ya Sudut pedalaman sini kan Setentang dengan dia mana Ha tu Sudut peluaran sama dengan sudut pedalaman yang setentang Which is This angle and this angle are Equal Ok Understand Ok I repeat again So the this is exterior angle and then the interior angle is B but we want to see the opposite for B which is A so it means that the exterior angle is equal to the 
I opposite interior angle Sudut perluaran sama dengan sudut pedalaman yang setentang So here A equal to the angle for E The first example From the previous uh, information that I give to you So now how to find the value of X and how to find the value of Y Okay if this is the case It is not that you find X plus Y You find one by one What is the value for X and then what is the value for Y So how to find the value for X Okay 180 minus Okay 97 because the opposite angle are equal to 180 So 180 minus 97 80 3 The value for Y 180 Minus 84 Which is equal to 96 Okay second question Okay this one you can find uh, which, uh, Tak kisah mula dengan mana dulu Either you want to find X first Or you want to find Y first Okay let's say I want to find the value for X So how to find the value for X What is the total angle for the opposite side in cyclic quadrilateral? 180 So means that x plus 2x equal to 3x equal to 180 x equal to 180 over 3 Okay divide by 3 So equal to 660 So next y equal to 180 minus 90 3, which is equal to 80 87 Okay very easy for this question Understand? So for this case you should remember What I said before The angle of opposite side is equal to the Angle of Eh oh, sorry The angle The exterior angle is equal to Opposite Interior angle So in this case You should calculate or not The value for X and Y No What is the value for X? 87. 87 because X is equal to opposite exterior angle. Okay, X equal to 87. Y equal to K 83. But if you don't remember these properties, you can calculate. Apa boleh kira? Macam mana nak kira? Okay, 180 minus 87. So you get this angle, correct? Okay, next 180. Minus by this angle, you, you get the value for x Which is the same answer Okay, same thing here 180 minus 83, you got this angle And then, to get the value for y 180 minus by this angle So you still got the same answer, which is 80 83 Okay, this one you need to calculate a little bit But for the value of x, no need to calculate What is the value for x? 79 Nine. Value for Y? 180 Minus 88 Which is equal to? 92 Okay, very easy for this question Minus 72 Okay, now you see here uh, This line we call as Radius So when this is the radius Means that the Length are the same So when the length is equal We call this one as Equi Eh sorry Equilateral Sorry isosceles Isosceles triangle Segitiga sama kaki So what is the properties of isosceles triangle? Angle at the base is Same Sisi pada tapak dia mesti sama So pertama awak cari dulu yang ni So how to find the angle at the base Okay 180 Minus 72 And then Divide by 2 So what is the value? 54 Okay So after you got the value For this side Okay now I label here equal to 54 So can we find the value for X? Yes Why you can find? Okay because This one plus this two equal to 
180 So right now you can write here X equal to 180 Minus 54 Minus 23 So the answer equal to 103 Okay 103 Can I want you to do the second question?